look, we know you did it. So just come clean. We can make a deal. All right, look, you want to play it that way? You're going to go away for a long time if this goes to trial. Just say something. Hey, it's no use. He's not talking. Just give me five minutes alone with him. I'll make him talk. No! It's not worth it! It's not worth it! You wipe that smug look off your face! The Babylon B once again uses comedy to expose the truth. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC. PAN Firearms, your NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like my content and you like my channel and want to support it, you can use the links below. Everything is appreciated. But let's talk about this. I came across this, a good friend sent this to me, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, the Babylon Bee strikes again. <laughs> and this is titled AR-15 Sands Trial for Murder. You saw a little bit in the beginning. <laughs> you know, every once in a while you gotta bring some comedy into this because a lot of it is comedic, what they're doing out there. But I wanna go ahead and play this <laughs> and I'll come back and we'll talk about it, so. Look, we know you did it, so just come clean, we can make a deal. All right, look, you want to play it that way? You're going to go away for a long time if this goes to trial. Just say something! Hey, it's no use. He's not talking. Just give me five minutes alone with him, I'll make him talk. No! It's not worth it! It's not worth it! You wipe that smug look off your face! And I intend to prove that that gun right there willfully and with malice of forethought, did shoot my client, the victim. I have to object. On what grounds? On the grounds that my client is an inanimate object. Overruled. You'll have the opportunity to make that argument when you present your case. But your honor, it's not an argument. It's a fact. You can all see it, right? It can't have forethought. It, it can't have any thought. It's a thing! I said overruled! Now everyone knows that guns are responsible for gun crime. If it's a thing, then how can it be responsible? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and sadly enough, that is their argument. That is the, the foundation of their entire argument. This is <laughs> classic. I, oh, man. Now, no more irrelevant outbursts in my courtroom. Can you please point to who shot you? It was that gun! It was that gun over there! I have nothing further, Ron. Your witness. Yeah. Okay, what the heck? Uh, sir. I am sorry that someone shot you. Someone? That gun over there! But did you happen to see someone holding the gun? I don't know what you mean. Well, guns don't shoot. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible to give commentary on, so, <laughs> on such a factual point. Oh, man. Themselves, right? That gun shot me! <laughs> right? But do you see how the gun is just sitting in the chair? It can't shoot you. Someone would have to pick it up, wouldn't they? Like this. Oh, no! It's moving by itself! No! It's happening again, baby! I'm just trying to do that again! Do we see the light? I'm holding the gun! I'm hurting you! Order in that courtroom! So I saw it pointing at him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's so absurd, but it's great. It's great. And then the next thing I knew, it was shooting by itself. I don't understand. Did you see someone holding it and pulling the trigger? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. Sustained. Please stick 
to the relevant issue. How is a person pulling the trigger not relevant? We have a problem with guns in this country. We do not have a problem with people pulling triggers unless... <clears throat> Did you happen to see a white conservative domestic terrorist pulling the trigger? <laughs> a white conservative domestic terrorist. Oh man. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Then yes, objection sustained. In the matter of the people versus AR-15, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. And how do you find? On the charge of assault with a deadly itself, we find the defendant guilty. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. You can't find an object guilty. It doesn't make any sense. Wait, am I the only sane one here? If I were to pick up this mug and hurl it at someone, would you arrest the mug? Remove this thing from my courtroom immediately! What charges, Your Honor? Attempted mugging. Oh, man. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's great. But you know, for as funny as that is, it's on sadly, it's true. And it's just literally just wrapping itself around the fact that this is their mentality of too many people. We blame the object and not the person behind it. And it, it, you know, it's we you, you throw some biblical ideals into this. When Cain slew Abel, God did not blame the rock. But Rush Limbaugh uh, once phrased this perfectly. He said, satire is using absurdity to expose absurdity. And I once again, kudos to the Babylon Bee because that is exceptional. Because if, if we're going to come back to reality now and take the comedy out of it, we would not put the SUV on trial for what happened in Waukesha, Wisconsin. No, they arrested somebody and they're holding them 100% accountable. We did not hold the K-Bar knife accountable for what happened in Idaho. We found out who it was. That person is on trial for murder. The knife is not relevant. So then you have to ask why, when a firearm is used, the firearm is the problem and gun ownership is the problem, but any other form of nefarious murder, it's the person who is responsible. Obviously, I don't have to answer that question because this is all about agendas. But I, once again, the Babylon Bee, genius, genius. I, I, good for them, kudos for keep doing this stuff. And putting it out there, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a campaign to try to get rid of them from social media as they did with uh, like libs of TikTok. I, because people don't want to hear the truth. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.